Hello everyone, today we are going to do chapter 3 Foreign Lands Extra Question Answers Class 6 English Name the tree mentioned in the poem Cherry Tree Who climbed up the tree? Poet as an adult Poet as a child Poet as a teenager So the answer is B option Poet as a child How the poet climbed up the cherry tree? By holding the trunk with both his hands what do you mean by foreign lands? Unfamiliar land or places. What do you mean by looking abroad? Looking around in all directions. What did the poet see from atop the tree? He saw neighbors garden decorated with flowers. Many more pleasant places which he had never seen before. What is the river described as the river is described as dimpling river what literary device is used for river personification the river is non-living thing but it is described as a person having dimples on his cheeks so river is personified as a person with dimpled cheeks what are the pleasant places seen by the poet? Pleasant places are the dimpling river, the dusty roads. What was the river like? The, li the river was dimpling and it was like suns or skies blue looking glass. What does the color blue depict in the phrase blue looking glass? The blue color depicts the color of the sky. What does blue looking glass imply? It implies that the river water was so clear that it was reflecting the color of the sky. What are roads described as? Roads are described as dusty. Where were the dusty roads going? The dusty roads were going up and down. Who could climb, who could be seen on the roads? The people could be seen tramping or walking or traveling on foot into the town. What do the dusty roads imply? The dusty roads imply that the roads were, that the roads were, uneven or not well constructed. What does the poet want to find? A higher tree. Sorry, sorry. What does the poet want to find or wish? And why? A higher tree. Because he wishes to see far off places which he could not see from atop the cherry tree. What is poet's wish? Poet wishes to find a higher tree so that he could see more far off places. Which far off places does the poet wishes to see? The poet wishes to see the places which the river, where the river in its, uh, in its, just a second. In its last stage meets or joins the sea where ships sail and to where the roads on fairy land. His either side lead. What does the poet know about fairy land? Answer. The poet knows that in fairy land all the children have dinner at 5 and 2 and second all the playing things come alive. Where do the roads on either hand lead to? To fairyland. What does grown up river mean? It means the mature river on the last stage of the river where it enters or joins or meets or merges with the sea. In fairyland, children have dinner at 5 p.m. What is the underlying meaning of the poem? 
or what is the theme of the poem in this poem the poet is describe describing a child to see unfamiliar places or things what exactly is the cherry tree for the poet it is a passage for the little boy to see wonderful places he has never seen before name the poet of the poem r l stevenson number of stanza five stanzas who is i in the poem a child or an adult how can you say that i means a child first is this is clear from second line of the first stanza where he says the word the words little me second is then from fifth stanza stanza where he mentions about fairy land and children and playful things the speaker climbed up a dash tree cherry tree where was the garden in his neighborhood the poet saw dash river dimple the poet wants to climb a dash tree higher tree poet described the river as suns or skies blue looking glass what did the poet do when he was up the tree he looked around in all directions to see foreign lands that is unfamiliar places do you think he had seen such pleasant places before why no the poet had not seen such pleasant places before because he had never climbed a tree before if the poet climbs the higher tree would he be actually be able to see the places he mentioned in the poem no because it is just child's imagination or child's curiosity to explore world around him the poet held the trunk with both his hands what does the what does this mean imply sorry this implies that he had climbed the tree for the first time so he might have been afraid of falling off the tree how can you say that he climbed the tree for the first time because he had never seen a beautiful garden which was just in his neighborhood the word foreign means not real unfamiliar far off list the things poet saw from atop the cherry tree he saw a beautiful garden in his neighborhood decorated with flowers and many pleasant places which he had never seen before like dimpling river and passing dimpling river passing and dusty roads giving going up and down who could be see who could be seen on dusty roads people tramping walking or traveling on foot into the town what is grown a river it means the river which enters the river which enters the sea what kind of place does the poet imagine in the last stanza in the last stanza the poet imagines a fairy land where children dine at 5 and all the toys come alive do you think that the poet as a child has lived a protected life or sheltered life or life with little freedom yes i think that poet has lived a protected life or sheltered life because he was un aware of the garden which was just in his neighborhood 
and he wishes to see places like fairyland where he can live for his life freely where he can live his life freely what was sun's or sky's blue looking glass the dimpling river was sky's blue looking glass from where would the poet be able to see grown up river and roads leading to fairyland from the higher tree who said below lines up into the cherry tree the poet as a little child said the said these lines how could you tell about the age of the poet the poet was a child this is noticed from first stanza where he says little me from sec first stanza where he climbs the tree by holding the tree trunk carefully with both his hands from last stanza he mentions about fairyland children and toys what did the speaker hold with his hands he held the trunk of cherry tree with both his hands the dusty roads go up and down which region does it seem to be it seems to be mountainous region what made what mode of transport was used to get to the town people used to walk on the foot or travel on foot into the town what is the first foreign place seen by poet neighborhood guard neighbor garden sorry what is poet's dream or wish to climb the higher tree to see far off places where grown up river flows into the sea and the road which leads to fairyland give the rhyming words used in the poem for below words tree me hands lands lie i more before pass glass down town tree see ships sorry slips ships five alive is the tree on which the poet has climbed tall enough to see fairyland no because he wishes to climb a higher tree which figure of speech is used in the phrase dimpling river personification what is the speaker doing at the start of poem the speaker is climbing up the cherry tree to look at unfamiliar places why speaker or poet says or mentions foreign lands because those places are new to the poet how is fairy land different from our world in fairy land children die at 5 and all play things come alive i saw the next door garden lie where is the speaker right now the speak he is high up on a cherry tree if i could find a higher tree farther and farther i should see what does the speaker want he wants to climb a taller or higher tree why does he want that to to see even farther places do you think the sights that the speaker says would really be visible from higher tree no it's just the child's po it is no it's just the child poet's imagination what does the po- poem tell about the child it tells about child's curiosity or child's imagination true false poet climbs apple tree falls poet sees ugly places from atop the tree falls 
poet hails branches with his hands falls on climbing a tree poet saw a house on fire falls what does the poet climb on what did he see the poet climbs on cherry tree and sees pleasant places what is fairyland Be beautiful land or place where fairies live name the things that poet imagines the imagines he imagines a place where the river flows into the sea and a place where the roads on either hand lead to fairy land foreign lands mean the land which poet has never seen before or unfamiliar land so here we have completed chapter 3 foreign lands classics english okay thank you bye bye